Hey guys, my name is Vishal and I welcome you all to this session by Edureka. In today's session, we would be talking about yet another Azure DevOps service and today's topic of discussion is Azure pipelines. But before we actually do go ahead and understand the service in any further detail, let us take a look at the offerings or the agenda of today's session first. So as far as the offerings of today's session go, we would start by understanding what is Azure DevOps? What are some of the services that Azure DevOps have to offer to us? What is Azure pipelines? That is the main topic of our discussion. And finally, I would give you a demo in which we would be walking through Azure pipelines service. So I hope this agenda is clear to you guys. So let us not waste any time and quickly get started then. So let us start with the definitions first. Now, if you've attended my previous sessions, you would know that I've talked about Azure, I've talked about DevOps, I've talked about AWS as well, and how DevOps works on AWS too. So in this session, I won't be getting into the details of these definitions or I won't try and explain these things to the very core. So if you wish to know more about these things in a lot more detail, you can take a look at our sessions on YouTube. So we have our Azure stack as well and AWS stack as well where we've talked about DevOps and we've talked about Azure and AWS individually as well. So let's not waste any time and quickly just understand what do these things mean and let us move to the next topic as well. So Azure well you can compare it with this power consumption analogy. Let me start by explaining you what Azure is. Well it is a cloud service provider or a vendor that provides you with various services like computation, storage, databases, machine learning, maybe security and various other services that concern cloud computing in general. So what does Azure do exactly? Well, it lets you rent these services. So you'd be paying only for the services and resources that you're using and only for the time duration you're using them. It is just like power consumption. I mean what you do is you consume electricity for probably running your TV sets, your bulbs, geysers and stuff like that. And end of the month you get a bill which says that you've consumed these many units and you pay the bill for those units only. You do not have to worry about managing, maintaining and producing electricity. The vendor takes care of it. When you talk about cloud computing, well Azure does exactly what the electricity vendor does. I mean, they provide you with all these services. They maintain these services for you, monitor these services for you. All you do is you consume these services and pay for these services as in for the time duration you've used them and the amount in which you've used them. So that is what Azure is and that is how it is similar to power consumption analogy. What it also does is you never have to worry about the servers buying servers maintaining those monitoring those because your softwares or your applications would be running on a server that is managed by these vendors. DevOps well it is an approach which basically lets you develop software faster. So what it does it basically brings in the developers and the operators approach into one part or into one single umbrella and by doing that what they do is they ensure that you can continuously integrate software you can continuously build it test it and then deploy it to the customer as well so this approach is basically called as devops which brings in the developers and the operations teams together and basically helps you continuously integrate and deliver software what is azure devops well, if you can implement this particular DevOps approach on top of Azure platform, you can call it as Azure DevOps. And when I say Azure DevOps, there are quite a few services that Azure provides you with, which basically help you carry out the DevOps operation. So let us move further and take a look at these services as well. So there you go, guys. These are the Azure DevOps services. Well, as you can see, there are services like Azure Boards, Azure Artifacts, Azure Repos, Azure Test Plans. And then you have Azure pipelines something that we would be discussing to the very core today. So before that let's try to understand these services to some extent Azure repos will Azure repos or repositories. It is similar to github or it is a counterpart to AWS's service called as AWS code commit. It is nothing but an in-house arrangement for storing your repositories or pieces of code basically. So yes, that is what Azure repos is. When you talk about Azure artifacts, it basically lets you share packages with your teammates and maintain these packages for you and hence the artifacts is what we call them. Azure test plans and Azure boards. Azure test plans basically help you plan your tests. Now you would be building software, deploying it and before that you need to test it as well. This is where this service comes into picture. When you talk about Azure boards in particular, now Azure boards basically it is a service that lets you create dashboards. 
it lets you take into consideration basically your agile management or agile scrum management approaches as well so that you can actually keep track of what is happening which artifact is getting created what task is being assigned to who in which sprint is what part of the development getting completed and stuff like that i mean in simple words it is an interactive interface that basically shows you whatever is happening in your life cycle of software development i've actually talked about this topic in a lot more detail in my previous sessions you can actually go ahead and take a look at this particular session on our youtube channel that is edureka's youtube channel and the name of the session is basically azure boards so you can find that video there as well to understand this topic in a little more detail moving further let us try to understand what is azure pipelines now now basically this particular service helps you carry out following things or this is what the definition has to say well it is a service that caters the need for creating pipelines on azure cloud platform which is pretty much evident and what it does is it lets you build test and deploy applications to azure cloud and other supported platforms let me simplify this definition for you a little more now basically what it does is it lets you create a pipeline now when i say a pipeline when you develop a software it needs to be built so there are steps involved in it you would be picking up a piece of code or you'd be creating a new code once that code is there you would build that code you would probably run some tests on top of it if any changes are required you would again build that code again test it and once it is ready you would deploy and deliver it to the end customer right so instead of doing these things individually or doing these separately what if there was a channel in which you could do all these things and keep a track of all these at one single location wouldn't that be nice well when you talk about azure pipeline that is what it does it basically lets you bring in all these actions under one umbrella and these are some of the features that azure pipeline has to offer to you let us take a look at those one by one well azure pipelines are basically platform and language independent what do i mean by this well if you have your application and you wish to run it on particular platform well azure gives you option for that as well you can run it on maybe your windows operating system you can run it on your linux operating systems you can run it on your mac operating systems as well plus it is language independent that means whether you are building a node js application you are building it in some other programming language like python or stuff like that you can definitely run this piece of code or build your applications using different programming languages and you can run those on different platforms as well freedom to work with containers definitely true what do i mean by this well containers are something that let you simplify the process of virtualization or in simple words they let you separate your piece of code and binaries from the platform on top of which you wish to run those so in simple words your code is locked into a container which can run anywhere there are containers like kubernetes docker so basically what it does is it lets you push your applications on top of these containers you have azure container registry as well if i'm not wrong that is an azure service for containerization basically so you have the freedom to move your applications on top of these containers or inside these containers as well deployment to the other cloud vendors definitely yes now the fact being that this is an azure service and it lets you create pipelines does not mean that it restricts your applications to microsoft azure only if you have been using other cloud vendors or your customers or whatever it is i mean your end goal is to move it to some other cloud platform you can do that if you're talking about cloud platforms like aws which is popular gcp which is a very good competitor if you wish to move your codes or your applications to these vendors will definitely deployment to these vendors is also supported support for open source yes microsoft azure has put in a lot of effort in recent times to ensure that azure is open to open source projects applications and tools as well this being said it is very easy to integrate open source services with azure these days and that is why if you wish to keep your project open source or you want it to be accessible to others you can take care of that as well so these are some of the features that make azure pipelines a must have tool or a must have service so let us just quickly move further now and quickly switch into the demo part because i do not want to stall any of your precious time so let us just quickly take a look at what azure pipelines can do for you so guys what i've done is i've actually gone ahead and i've switched into the console now if you talk about microsoft azure they give you some free credits to use azure services for free for one month 
the credits are somewhere around 12 to 13,000 Indian rupees and somewhere around 200 US dollars if I'm not wrong So you can utilize these credits to use these services because these services are chargeable But the fact that you have free credits you can utilize these services for free for one complete month so that you can test and practice what these services have to offer to you. So if you do not have a free tier account, just go ahead and sign in for Azure portal. And once you do that, guys, you would be having this free tier account, which you can use. Once you do that, probably you would want to search for Azure DevOps, something that we are going to use. Just type Azure DevOps in your browser and you would be redirected to this page. And from here on, I would be taking you further. So let us take a look at what you can do with Azure pipelines, guys. So I'm gonna start with start free No sooner I click on this icon guys it would probably if you are starting as a fresher or Somebody who hasn't worked on any project it would ask you to create an organization and a project to start with The fact that I already have an organization or a project it has actually redirected me to this particular page So let me just quickly see if I can just go ahead and delete this particular project or organization and see if you can start fresh how do you do that just come here and say delete and this was the name just gonna copy it control C control V and delete so guys when you click on start fresh this is how it should start if you started fresh if not you can continue from the interface where I just left from so it says do you want to get started with DevOps I would say yes give it a name your organization I'm just gonna say sample for today okay South India I'm kind of based in Bangalore right now so that is why it says South India and it will say create a project so the name should be demo project for me you can name it whatever you want to if the name is available you can use it do I want it private do I want it public I would say public for now because I wish to import certain repositories as well and keeping it public would make it easier for me to get access to those repositories no other reason so I'm just gonna go ahead and say create so guys we've gone ahead and we have an organization for our usage and under that we have a project as well so if I just scroll down I would see following options I can switch to these five services that we've discussed and I can also have them on one tab as well which you can see it here I've already added those as extensions to my dashboard so we can use it from here as well let's just say create pipelines for now there are no pipelines here because I've deleted my previous project as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and say create a new pipeline so where is my code is what it is asking me is it in Bitbucket? is it in Azure repositories is it in github I have some pieces of code in github so let's just go ahead and use a random piece of code that is there in my repository once you click here guys if you are not authorized to use your repositories or use your github you would be required to sign in here it would throw in a page where you can actually log in with your credentials to github and pick up your repositories if you wish to use those i have this one here it is available actually you can look for pipelines python django for azure and probably you would get these anywhere you can just fork it by clicking here if you do not have it do not worry i would be sharing the link for this as well for now let us just go ahead and continue with the demo part so I'm gonna select this so guys this is basically a piece of code for Django framework supported by Python what it does it tests a Django project on multiple versions of Python it adds steps that help you analyze the piece of code save build artifacts deploy and more so basically you can visit this particular link as well to know more about this piece of code so this is what it does you can see step by step the information is here what VM it is going to use again what are the versions that it is going to use? What is the script that is here to export a particular path source plus if you go ahead These are some of the commands that you would be wanting to take a look at these are nothing major It just basically goes ahead and builds a particular project for you and deploys it So let us just go ahead and do that as well. Let's just say run So it would configure your piece of code and once it starts doing that you would get all the information as in what is happening here step by step so bear with me let it just configure the stuff and give you the information probably might take half a minute to get started and there you go guys it has already started the agent is ready for the job is what it says and it would start the connection once it does that there would be a log made available to you people so guys this is what has happened and this is what is happening you can see it is getting logged step by step whatever is happening and you can see the commands and piece of code running in the background and once it has succeeded it would give you the status succeeded so 
it initialized an agent prepared a job initialized the job checked out then it used a python version it did actually go ahead and explore or export a particular project installed the prerequisite it ran test on top of it it published the piece of application or the result basically and it actually did go ahead and check out and finalize the job so these are the things it has actually gone ahead and performed you can take a look at the summary part as well as in this is what has happened step by step tests these were the tests that were run and those were successful so you have the stats for those as well you can click on release but there is nothing to release for now so yeah so you can choose where you wish to actually go ahead and deploy your application you can carry out these steps as well so these are the options that you have and you can just go back let me just leave it yep and if i overview it said pipelines it is 100 percent successfully built member is the account that i'm using pipelines if i go here it would give me information about that as well this is the master branch that i'm using i can actually go ahead and update my piece of code as well if i wish to so guys, there are a lot of things that you can do you can actually go ahead and commit certain pieces of codes here as well you can go to repos you can decide what piece of code you want the existing master branch that you're using in the pipeline you can actually go ahead and fork that particular piece of code when i say fork you make a copy of it for your own sake you make changes in it and then you push it to the master and if the master finds the latest version doable with the proper access admin rights you can actually go ahead and merge that piece of code something called as commit you can commit your code to that particular pipeline so guys this is how your pipeline works this is how your piece of code works or this is how basically you actually go ahead and use your azure pipelines there are a lot of other things that you can do you can actually go ahead and install certain extensions to your azure pipelines so that you get quick sites or basically you get analysis as in what was the process that was implemented and what steps it took if you wish to know more about it do visit our youtube channel and visit azure devops video where we've talked about that the video also talks about how you can actually go ahead and add batch to your particular piece of code or your application suggesting that whether all the builds were succeeded or were successful or not as far as this session goes guys i believe i've talked enough about what azure pipelines are i've shown you a sample as in how you can actually go ahead and create a sample piece of code using azure pipelines or not a piece of code or how you can actually deploy a sample piece of code using azure pipelines i believe most of the parts here are covered but let us quickly take a look at some of the other pointers and then probably we can rest this session so here you'd be having summary of what is happening dashboards i don't think it would show any dashboard you can just go ahead and add widgets if you want so you can click it or click on this particular icon select a widget you can add it here and you can say add so now if you go to your dashboard you can select a pipeline here let's say this is the pipeline and i say save so it gives me the history as in what has happened four minutes ago and whatever changes happen those can be studied and understood here so i believe guys we've talked about a lot of stuff here i would not want to get into the details of these topics because we would be having separate sessions for all these topics so stay tuned for those sessions as well as far as this session goes guys i would be resting it here if you do have any queries put those in the comment section in the chat box and i would be more than happy to get back to you at the earliest having said that guys i would be resting it here and here thank you bye bye